I'm uh, Dr. Giorgio Bernardo. I'm a uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. I started Hyperbaric when uh, the Department of Tourism was looking for a hyperbaric chamber facility to be brought into Manila. And I said, whoa, I, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a scuba diver and, uh, and I think our hospital could be a nice location for a hyperbaric facility. So they placed the hyperbaric chamber on October 1995. And in December, we had our very first patient, emergency patient. I saw this uh, person, he was like 70s, and I was so intrigued, he looked so healthy. He was, so, he was actually a cancer survivor and said, uh, he's read about hyperbaric and said, why don't you go to visit Dr. Richard Neubauer? He's, he's like the rock star of uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So I did some emails then. This was about 2004, and Dr. Nibari asked me to come, come and visit me. So I stayed with him for about a month and became personal friends with him and came back to his clinic again and saw the different uh, uh, cases that, you know, from uh, very young children up to very old people getting better with uh, neurology. And um, my very first patient with uh, with traumatic brain injury was a uh, second lieutenant. He was hit by a sniper wound in the head. And the doctors, this neurosurgeon said, he's not going to be walking anymore. Yeah, so, and I said, Arnold, do you want me to treat you for hyperbaric? And I said, let's, let's keep it into hush. He said, yeah, why not? So he was wheelchair bound and slowly he was standing up and he regained all his senses and he even finished um, Master's in Theology after that. So I said, wow, he started it and uh, he started asking people with strokes and those with uh, dementia and uh, people with, with uh, beginning Alzheimer's and, and small children with autism. And now we are, we are treating about 60 patients a day. So this is, uh, this is a magic of hyperbaric. It's, it's not a cure for all, it's a, it's a complement. It has to be combined with uh, well, lifestyle change and um, physical exercise and supplements and, uh, and a lot of uh, other things aside from hyperbaric. Oxygen is needed in all body functions respiration, circulation, digestion, you name it. And uh, it's needed in all the um, uh, things that we eat, like the proteins, fats, carbohydrates, even water, and so oxygen. So, um, uh, I, in fact, there's one patient I had, he was one of the most senior uh, generals in the military, and he said the most important time to use hyperbaric is when you don't need it yet. He was very much ahead of his time and I came to realize that why do we need hyperbaric when you're already sick? When you're, when you're, when you're old. So uh, I think hyperbaric, the role of hyperbaric is basically for prevention. It's not a miracle treatment, but it creates miracles. I've seen miracles happen.